Hi everybody, we are back here trying to record this chaoticness. I don't know if this is due to official or my laptop, but we are, we are here on mobile recording this because I don't know what's going on with my laptop. You can hear it currently in the background trying to speak its piece, but I I don't want to hear it. Hey, what's that huge weird thing over there? Also, it might echo. It might. If it doesn't, great. If it does, you've been warned. It appears to be some sort of machine and an army cap with traces of hydro next to it. It seems that we are not the first to set foot on this island. Also, there are footprints here. Fresh ones. Likely no more than a few days old. Really? Hyman didn't notice them at all! Traveler, Paimon, stay alert. Why? Did you see something? Someone was here. And they're still nearby. Judging from the scent, they're visitors here like us. There's other people here? Oh, Paimon's scared now. Come on, we need to track them down. He got out quicker than a baby back rib. Why are there fatui on this island? <sighs> Isn't there a single place in this world without mint, sweet flowers, and fatui? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Is there a place where Paramount doesn't exist? For something? A cab! I can't, I can't lose it! I, I don't know anything! Give me that cabby cap! <laughs> Is this the cap you're looking for? My brother's cabby cap! Give me, give me, give me! What are you in second grade? Uh, this guy is not the sharpest sword in the sheath. Okay, Stop right on. there! What are you doing here? Who are you talking to? We can ask you the same question! What are you doing here? Hmm? Protect Cappy Cap, my brother will get mad at me! Forget the Cap, it's your brother we're looking for! Oh, What happened to him? Nothing! He has a fever! He's just a little delirious, that's all! I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else. This island Y'all came to me. To our friend. You better watch what you say, mister. What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... <clears throat> Never mind. Oh no, spill the beans. I would love to know more of why you're here. And why are you in my presence? Fine. I'll tell you. But then you need to leave me alone. I was it's here a new first. Kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. There. Satisfied? Hey, bro, get out my face. What are you talking about? I know you ain't got to explain nothing to me. But bro, don't disrespect me. Don't don't disrespect me. It will get crazy real quick. Don't imply our vacationing. Yeah, and if you don't do as you're told, we'll, uh, oh, we'll take his cap. 
no, I will run the phase. I, that's messed up. Stop I'm not crying. All right, I promise we'll stay within this area. Okay. I'm just pause the what's the name instead of talking over the dialogue. Um, we're we're not gonna take the cap. That's that's messed up. The the brother's cap, even though the brother is actually missing as well, it's that's that's too far. But I will be happy to run a quick fade with you. The cursed thing is broken. As much as I hate to say it, our tests did not go to plan. We were getting ready to leave anyway. Oh, well, just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. You ain't getting sympathy out of us. I can't believe we have to deal with the Fatui during our vacation. Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever their reasons, it's likely more complicated than we might think. Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. Hey bro, I've been vigilant. I'm just waiting on you. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation, while the Traveler and I deal with any potential threats. What do you think? Oh, you're finally giving Paramount a... a order. You know she's not gonna follow that. Mm. You're so considerate, Kazuha. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a trivial matter like this. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. We're back! Just in time. So, Traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming champion is? Me or Fischl? <laughs> Utter my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. Boring. Mona's gonna win this. I'll go with whoever Palmon says is the winner. Now we don't have a mind of our own. Paimon, surely you can discern who the true winner is. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek out. Mm. Oh, thank you, Shinyan. Mm. Yes, we did walk quite a long way. Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecued. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. Seafood barbecue? Is she implying on grilling fish? Cause that's the only thing I see that sugar sweet. I too. Well, there's plenty to go around, so dig in. I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I promise you'll at least eat your fill. Mm, time to eat. Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Paimon's done talking. You guys carry on if you want to go hungry. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, 
allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. Okay, Chef Kazuha. Hi, one, two. Oh, oh, traveler, you forgot about something. Uh, let's talk over there. That old thing with the Fatui is bothering you too, right? Well, remember the bomb thing that Venti gave us? We can contact him using that. Wait, no, not a bomb. Venti said it's called a Dodo communication device. Yeah, let's ask Venti if he knows anything. He always seems clued in on everything, so if there's any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. Okay. I had to pause it for quite some time because I'm recording by a window and I don't know if it's going to pick up or not. But miss me already? That's why I hate playing on mobile because I can't auto click it the way I want to. <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> you're the only person who can contact me on this thing. How come you're sneezing? I'm at the cat's tail. <sighs> so many cats. They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. <clears throat> okay. Go on then. <laughs> what are you calling about? He reminds me of that little turtle. If you ever play Sly Cooper's, um, it's a PS2 game. I think his name is Bentley. He sounds exactly like him. <laughs> if you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I recommend you. Girl. All right. Well, Venti, there's some strange things going on on this island. We ran into the Fatui. I know you ain't talking about lazy. One, you ain't walked a day in your life. Two, just because you are the voice of me, that don't mean you don't control me. Three, um, what monster have you fought? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We ain't lazy over here. We carrying you. Ugh, the Fatui. Yeah, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> Ugh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised if they hadn't shown up yet. But they're ruining our vacation! Hey, bro, he don't care. He got his own stuff to worry about. Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or, uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. But don't worry. I may be a lowly tone-deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, right? Uh, sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. Ugh, honestly. Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. How are y'all gonna be mad at Venti? He's from a dis he's he's from afar. He can't really do much but give you advice. What did you expect when you when he gave you the communication thing? You think he was just gonna teleport there like a waypoint? The same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friends. The wind will always be with you. 